hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to make registration form in vb.net so guys let's get started with this so over here you can see one register button so when i click this a form should open so before that we need to create a form so let's create that form right click on your project and go to add and add windows form so let's click and rename this as register and click add over here so this is your form and now let's design this form for inserting or registering your data first let's go to our toolbox so let me go to views views and open your toolbox and let's search for the label first label And let's design this first as simple you can just move on with this where you are going to tell as register form or registration form registration form where this font size will be let me just unpin this okay here it is 20 now let's keep in setter so guys now let us select one more label for the calling the input fields name so first we'll select with this and call over here first name let's copy and paste again paste done let's give this as last name last name copy paste gender paste phone number paste and then create this one as email id paste and this will be the password your password that's it now let's select all this and make one size so let's go to font 12 let's arrange this now let's create all the input box so just call the text box so select with this text box just click and drag over here and extend that so let's copy and paste for everything we require over here let's come here for phone number email and one more thing we missed for the password and for gender we are going to select the combo box so type combo just click and drag and just make it now we just align this form so let me just align that now let's uh, insert the value inside this so click on this and click on edit item so let's give male hit enter type next value as female and other so let's make that one for default one let's give hyphen hyphen select so this will give an option called for the selection so let's click ok so once you run this that time you will get a drop down option so guys now let's create one button 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 let's click and drag let me make it just little bigger size copy and paste again over here let's make this button one as register now and let's rename this button name first you have to go to design and select this button name as register underscore button hit enter and your register button name changed and over here let's give cancel so first let us change the text text called cancel and you can set the background color if you want just back color over here 
select with this red and then text and all you can just design with that so guys now let us move over here and change the button name that is cancel underscore register so cancel register we will give save this and now let's move back to our form design form one so this is our welcome page right so when i click on this this form should open so first that double click on this button and your button name is there so let's open registration form so let's copy that form name first so once you click on this form your form name will be shown over here that is register so let's copy this form name and then paste inside this code so first you need to close the current form so that is me dot hide function and open the registration form so let's paste registration dot show function save this and now guys let's test first let's save and start the project over here let's just wait for it okay so guys now let me click on this register you can see that the form is closed and that behind form is hidden so the same way you need to close with the cancel also and then start the code about it so let's get started to code the registration form let's go to register and now guys let's click on register button register now so let's double click on it over here let's type the registration code to insert into database so first we need to create the database connection and all now you need to import first so let us import the sql import system dot data dot sql client okay and now let's create that so first we'll create dim con let us make it a small dim con as new sql connection where and then the command variable we are going to create as new sql command and now let's create the connection string so connection string we are going to create and in this connection string your database connection string will be given so as you saw in previous video we have created a database inside views server explorer over here you can find your database right click on this go to its property over here you can see that connection string so double click inside this and copy and paste over here let's unpin this property paste unpin it again so inside this you need to do some changes so you can see that double quotes is given just remove that and again here it's given so remove this so this is how we give our database connection string inside your code so it's now let's continue so first you need to open the connection so let's type open and then your command is equal to new sql command where so let's type the command call insert into your table name so my table name is as you can see over here so if you want to know how to create this table watch out the previous video the link is given in the description over here you can see that users table name right so this is my table so let me just close and copy this users name and paste over here users where over here you need to call your input fields so let's type values where you will call the input name so single quotes double quotes and inside this you need to give double and symbol and then you need to call your text so let's call fname dot text text so this name will be called from uh, it's not loading because we didn't create that field names so let us create over here go to its property let's pin this first you need to create over here. let's go to design and rename this as f name and then for the last name just change that text box to to last name and this is your combo box from combo box to gender 
and then phone combo box three to phone you are going to give and then your email id email and password is final password so now let's call those values over here so let me just unpin this and now let's paste that one by one so let's give comma and then again you have to copy the same code so let's copy and paste simple let's change this name as l name and then again paste with the gender your phone let me just scroll it and give email and then final the password save so your this is about the ESQL command so let's remove this semicolon from last and over here you need to give the connection string so make sure you are giving C O N so this is your connection string so let's save and hit enter now guys you need to check with the if condition if the data is inserted or not into your text box so let's check that in if condition if if name dot text which is equal to double or l name dot text and then again same thing we are going to check with or with that the fine gender one gender dot text is equal to null we forgot about this so make sure you are giving null over here it's null or your phone dot text is equal to null or let's type that email dot text is equal to null or password dot text is equal to null so if this is null values you have to show that message let's give that else also over here type else and before this else you need to give message box dot show where you are going to show that value inside this like please enter all the fields f i e l d s so this will be your field and remove the semicolon we don't require semicolon in this we missed that double quote over here let's save and now guys after this if it is null means you have to show this message if it is not null means then you have to insert that so there is no point of writing this code at the top so just cut this code and paste inside the else condition okay so let's give that cmd dot execute non query function and then your message box let's give msgbox call that yes you see see yes, 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 successfully registered and then you are going to show the message box style which will be box style 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 dot information style style dot information okay which will be as success s u c c e s s save this so guys once the registration is completed that time what we have to do we have to hide this registration form and show the login page so for that first let us hide that use me dot hide function hide the register form and i want to show after registration i want to go to login form dot show function so what if you have created your login page that time you have to just paste the login page name over here so let me just comment with this because right now we don't have and let's clear all the input fields so once it's successfully registered you need to hide the registration form show the login form and then you need to clear all the input fields so for that let's copy this input field name dot where i'm going to use clear function so same way you're going to copy and paste for others also let's make this as last name 
and then phone 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 we are not going to clear the gender one because it's a option so we don't require to clear that so let's call this email also email and then paste again for the password paste password done so let's save guys now let us close the connection of it let me just clear this space and here you have opened the connection so let us close the connection connection dot clc close function that's it so this is about your registration code so guys now let's execute and see that data is stored or not into this database so let me just show you this table is a table okay so there is no data inside this let's see that how it stores get back and start the project so let's click on register where you can see this registration form and let's insert that data so first name Ved Prakash where gender you're going to select over here let's make it male and phone number some random digit with at gmail.com password one two three four five six let's click on register where you can see successfully registered okay so let's go back let me minimize this and see into our database so let's stop this project first and let's view our table let's tell show table data let us refresh first cool so you can find that data is stored successfully into our database so we have completed our registration form in vb.net so guys now let's continue in next video how to make a login form in vb.net so you have registered so now we'll create login system in vb.net in next video so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share